Sports, everybody. I'm James Savalski, and the home team will look to extend their winning streak and keep the fans pumping. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Puck is dropped. Let's get things going and find out if we can get a winner here. Puts it on net. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Bufflin's lugging the puck, and he slides it quickly to Michael. Oh, great play to use the wall handle in the pass. He was totally locked in on that play. John's just creating a ton of energy out there because of his drive and compete level. I mean, he is off balance, stumbling, and still manages to find the puck and get it to the net. This creates a scoring chance. Yeah, it doesn't go in, but what it does is it creates energy for his entire team as they build momentum. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. McDano's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. The Wild have the puck oh. in the neutral zone. Gains the zone through the middle. Gains the zone along the right wall. Quick pass to Raymond. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a short pass to Kane. Oh, what a save in front. He's like a magician out there. The puck is on a string. He can maneuver around his opponent. And he gets net front and just can't execute because the goaltender is right there and makes a nice save. won the face off here in the offensive zone. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And player falls down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Cops been nabbed for tripping. opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. And that's broken up. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Slides it up to Johns. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Blocked in traffic. Can't hang on after that hit. Picked up along the boards by Hall. The Wild have it now. Turned aside by Vernon. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Schultz. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Sends it quickly to Pominville. Minnesota's got the puck against the wall. And some good footwork to kick it away. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Quick feed to champion. And loves a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. And it's a quick pass to Hull. Tried to get 2 2 with it and loses possession. Hull's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Scores! And they capitalize with the extra player on the ice, and it's a power play goal. Well, using the advantage of having extra ice available to them, James, that's why their most skilled players are on the ice. That one's executed to perfection. Well, this is a great goal. A goal scorer's goal, actually, James. A quick release shot. You're keeping your feet moving to be able to shoot it in stride. You gotta know exactly where you are on the ice as well. So some key awareness to be able to get that goal. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 
Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. And he slides it quickly to Raymond. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. Crisp's gonna slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Kane's good at stick handling around defenders, and that's his puck on a string zone ability. It's what makes him so dangerous. Lidstrom's quick pick zone ability means he can intercept passes and break up his opponent's attack. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. Still has possession. Sets in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Minnesota's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Danos won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Raymond. And will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Boy, this is the way that you have to do the little things right in order to have success. His no contest zone ability is what makes him great at winning those loose puck battles and gaining possession, guys. Takes a moment behind the net. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Silverberg. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Detroit's looking to break out. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Came up with the save on that play. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. 1-0 the score. Larkins won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Rocks him on the play. Great pressure on the offensive end by Johns. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Now you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him. Going full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone crushing hits. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. One nothing is where we sit at this point. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a solid save there as we play on. Takes the feet at the back end. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Slides it on over to Robitai. Shot off a stick. And he takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. And he comes up big again. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. And somehow he hangs on. Moves it to Colton. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. You never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. The Wild have started to make this look like a potential for a mismatch tonight. Already up by two here in the first. Well, good defense leads to good offense. Desmond James, you know that I'm always going to say that. And I think that they've been defensively responsible and they found a way to hound pucks. The biggest thing, they've retrieved them, which has gotten them going the other way. And they have a two-goal cushion for their efforts. Now a quick pass to Burns. He's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone right here. the half 
halfway mark of this period. Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Handles it along the blue line. Quick pass to Silverberg. Dismiss that chance. Goaltending is not just about making save, it's also about studying your opponent, and he knew exactly where that puck was going, and that's why he anticipated and got across for the one-timer. Here's a short pass to Koibu. And he takes the feed. Takes a shot. A shot right in the breadbasket for the save. Silverberg's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Pushes it across to Pominville. Scrum ensues along the boards. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. The Red Wings play it along the boards. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. The Red Wings will play from the defensive zone. Detroit's got him along the wall. Hammers him into the boards. Answered the call there. Berggren's on his way down to the ice, almost on one foot. Incredible display of awareness as he's able to get that pass off, which leads to a great scoring chance. Takes the pass. Moves the puck. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. The Red Wings will play it in their own end. And he takes the dish. Pass taken away. Great defensive effort there. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Minnesota's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of pucks on net so far. The Red Wings win it in the defensive zone. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Both teams back on the ice, they're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Minnesota's coaches will be loving that first period, James. I mean, it was a real impressive start. You can't script it any better than that. You dominated possession time. You executed, so it translated into offense. Now they got to find a way to keep it the same, push through the second, and try and put in a full 60 minutes. Tries to feed it over to Champion. Shot! I mean, he looks like a savvy veteran out there. When the puck is on his dick, he's poised. He's so patient. I mean, his possession numbers are off the charts. This guy is absolutely incredible. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Minnesota's on cruise control, or at least they should be, but they're still going full throttle, it looks like, out there. And sometimes when you get a huge lead like this, you can get a little cute with the puck and start making careless mistakes. Not happening. They've been intense, they've been crisp, and they've been executing. Oh, no big stop! The shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Stops the rocket of a shot. Minnesota's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Detroit's got the win off that draw. And that shot gets caught in traffic. And now he moves it quickly to Silverberg. Picked up along the wall by Edmondson. And now it's over to Raymond. Detroit's got the puck against the boards.
Detroit's got to find a way to get a couple more now after showing some signs of life. The pushback is on much more aggressive through this period than they were in the first games. And they're going to have to continue that, but it's going to start on the faceoff. They have to get a win, own possession, and start distributing the puck. When they do that, they're going to create some speed and some opportunities on net. Works it across to Burns. Takes the feed. Oh, great close save by Vernon. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a grade-A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. Detroit's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. Off the draw, they take possession. Fires it! Oh, how did that stay out? It goes off the inside of the post. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. More than half the period left to play. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. The Red Wings played along the boards and makes the save. Chris has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Comfer's got the puck in his own zone. The Red Wings are on the attack. Here's a shot, and that's blocked from someone in front. What a hit, and that'll wear down the opposition. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Swap up. Grabbed along the board by Cup. He got all of that hit. There's a jolt of energy they need. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Detroit's in transition. All alone. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke. And while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's going to have to find a way to get out of the way. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded and closed me so fast and just taken down. Petrie's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We've just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Puck grab by Robotai. The Red Wings have it now. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Great positioning in the defensive end. Quick shot. Goaltender would have stopped this the way he was able to move his feet, corral that puck quickly with that quick release, the snap of the wrist to be able to put it by the tendy. Detroit's looked way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here there's a the physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. And now it's grabbed by Kane. The Red Wings have it from their own end. Quick feed to Shanahan. And there's the save! Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Past the midway mark in this period. Detroit's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Medano's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. The Wild have possession along the boards. Detroit's got control of it now from their own end. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Wow, well, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Janssen's got it in the defensive end. Tries to get it over to Fabry. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Uh, 
Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Collins won the faceoff. And he takes the feed. Heatley's taking it from his own end. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Shot! Turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Red Wings win the draw. Moves it on over to Robitaille. Moves it to Cider. Cuts to the front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Scrum along the boards. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Iserman's got the puck now in his own end. sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Denied by the goaltender. <laughs> Getting into the later stages of this period, just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Raymond. He says, let's get physical on that play. They've got numbers. Here's a chance. Way too much congestion blocks that. Hooked away at center by Niskanen. And the puck's booted away. What a steal in his own end. Stoppage and play offside the call. The Red Wings continue to trail here late in the second despite having more chances here tonight. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. I love his confidence and composure with the puck, James. I mean, he will manipulate his opponent as he's maneuvering his way to the net because he's willing to pause. He's got that confidence. But when he gets net front, man, the goaltender is in a ready position and makes a nice save. Moves the puck over to top. Picked off by Koivu. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And with that, the third period is now underway. Iserman's got it in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Denies him in front. Well, that's an excellent save, James, but the goaltender knew that that shot was coming. The whole mantra around this team is to set him up for the one-timer, and he was set. It was right in his wheelhouse. The goaltender just made a fantastic save. Bufflin stick handling in his own zone. Off the left wing and into center. That's gloved by Vernon. Detroit's looking to continue putting more and more shots on net, but they're going to have to finish one of these chances as they trail in the third. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. He takes the seat at center and moves forward. Quick pass over to Silverberg. Tosses it on to Robitaille. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Now over to Schultz. Here's a short pass to Kane. They've got it on that rush. Textbook defense. 
Bucks have had for to end that rush. And he slides it quickly to Medano. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 3-2 is where we're sitting. Detroit's got it, and they're on the attack. And that's poked away by Niskanen. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Fires it on net and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Pass back to the point. My goodness, they crush a really good in here in the offensive end. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Detroit's playing it from the side. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Panic. Moving into the attacking zone. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Slides it over with pace to champion. Minnesota's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and there's a reason they're in the lead. They stopped that one. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how we got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. And they skate it out of the danger zone. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. And he takes the pass. And he shut the door on that last play. And it's a quick pass to Iserman. Oh, complete explosion on that physical hit. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivering and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Scrum along the wall. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Minnesota's got the puck in the corner. as well. The Penguins are in the on-deck circle on the schedule, and I'll tell you what, this is a big game for both teams coming up, and that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. The Red Wings win the draw, and they go... Well, he's on the board! Uh, it's always a good feeling when you get your first under your belt, James, but it's always about setting the tone at the beginning of the season, setting your to winning the face-off in the offensive zone, James. Everyone knows their responsibility is about making sure they get to the spots that they need to get to and get off a quick release shot. Great goal. Detroit's picking the plot here in this third period while tying it up. I always find it so interesting, James, and how the game shifts throughout it. And at the end of the game, finally, there's a sense of urgency. And because of it, they're able to capitalize on the scoring chance. And he makes the save. Well, he's really feeling a play from earlier on the shift, James, and now he's wincing on his way back to the bench. He's going to need some assistance here to get off the ice. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Centering feed! Couldn't complete the pass. Hammers the shot. Fearless, totally fearless on the block. The Red Wings are across the line and into the offensive end. Picking up some steam at center ice. What a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that pop with some gymnastics at its finest. 
And look at this, these fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you gotta embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it, you can tell that he's feeling it right now. Vernon's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. James, let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. Nice job tying up his opponent. Vernon's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And he makes the save on that play. Moves it over to Shanahan. Minnesota's gained possession. Dishes it to champion. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. Gets the puck over to Edmondson. Now a quick pass to Raymond. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Wow, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies and that one's perfectly executed. And the puck's kick free. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Great save from in tight. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. And he's got the answer for that one. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Who had the better night? Carlin will stand by. Lidstrom's worked hard, and even though he hasn't got on the scoreboard, I've liked his game, guys. I'm giving him the edge here. The Red Wings win the draw on their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Granlin. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Minnesota's on the attack. Siders moving the puck through his own zone. Slides it quickly to Granlin. Picked off by Comfort. And he's knocked off the puck there. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here's a shot. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strikes will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, that's an incredible push to finish off the third period here, James. You're urgent on the puck. You find a way to get it to the net. And now that could wind up as the game-winning goal. This is a real deflator for your opponent. Minnesota's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Uh, there it is. Final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Well, a complete team effort right from the goal all the way out to the front, and they continue to find ways to win. Listen, James, when you're winning games, it's easy to have buy-in, right? Everything's working for you, so you're trusting the process, and that's where you see the real good habits. Tonight was another product of that. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.